If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I like gadgets that hook up to my Wi-Fi. I got a video doorbell, I've got a smart lock, I've got a garage door monitoring system, I've got wireless cameras. I'll put links to all of those videos I did down below in the description if you wanna take a look. But I own a locksmith company. We're always looking at ways to increase sales and Amazon came out with a great new product that I happen to need for my home. So I'm gonna install it today and take a look at the features, let you know what I think about it. And if it works as well as I hope it's going to work, we can start offering this as a service to our customers. And that is the Smart Thermostat by Amazon. Right now, this product on Amazon is 59 bucks. Connects to your Wi-Fi, everything controlled from your smartphone. My house is two stories. I got an AC unit upstairs, an AC unit downstairs. I wanna have those on separate settings depending on the time of the day. So let's see how this product does. Is it going to work at 60 bucks? I'm Robert, you're watching Locksmith Recommended. This is where the first one is going. I'm not gonna actually show the installation of this, but I need to bring this up for an important reason. You need to find out whether or not that controller is gonna work with your HVAC unit. And so when you go onto Amazon using the link I've got down below in the description, it'll actually walk you through a process where you need to be in front of your existing unit and tell it what you see there. And then it'll tell you whether or not the new unit is compatible and whether or not you need an extra component that they actually sell with it. I'm gonna pop this one off. And underneath here, you see all the wires. Basically, when you're walking through that guided determination on Amazon, it'll just ask you, you know, what are you connected to? What are you seeing here? Whether or not there's any spare wires. So that's what I did before I bought these and I found out I didn't need the extra component uh, that kind of come with it. Mine was good to go straight out of the box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set these up and we'll take a look at what we find. Remember, turn off your power to this before you start unplugging this and plugging it into the new unit. I learned that the hard way when I installed these units and then I found out one of my ACs was dead. In the summer here, the attic's 180 degrees. It was no fun at all. So make sure you turn off the power before completing this swap. So it's very possible when you get the old unit off that there's gonna be some scarring underneath it and the new unit is relatively small, so it might not cover all of that. So it does come with a scar plate so that you could put this underneath and then you mount the new unit on top of it. I don't think it looks as nice. I had some touch-up paint, so I just put some touch-up paint on there and I can go with just this. I have the upstairs unit installed and this unit installed. They both have power now because it says set. One of the things I didn't notice about the app is sometimes the app would shut down and you had to turn it back on and start the process over. That's kind of a pain in the butt, but if this works, this is three times less than the other solutions out there. So I can live with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get these connected to the app. Basically, it just asks me to scan the barcode and then it's looking for my thermostat. That didn't seem too complicated. Let's see what happens. It's connecting to my hybrid internet. Let's see if it can handle that. It connected, it connected to the hybrid unit so I didn't need the dedicated 2.4 gigahertz device. That's awesome. Now it's saying it's getting my new thermostat ready. So far, it's been pretty intuitive. Everything's gone really quick. Now it's asking me to test it. It wants me to test it one at a time. So I said, make sure all the other one's off. The first one's not set yet, so it should be fine. Did my heat turn on? Oh my gosh, when I scanned the barcode, I scanned the barcode for the unit upstairs. The unit upstairs, the heat came on. This one still says set. So if you do got two units, there's a tip for you. Make sure you keep track of the barcodes that came with them in the box. Now it's asking me to check the AC stuff. So I'm gonna go upstairs real quick and check this. I'll come back and do this one in just a minute. I've got it to heat, I've got it to cool, and now I can go into the phone and edit the schedule. I could control the temperature, cool, hot, whatever I wanna do. So that seems good. Let's go in and view and edit schedule. That all looks pretty intuitive. Looks like I could just set it up Sunday through Sunday, multiple. What I'm gonna try that right now is see if I can set them up separately because there were a lot of complaints on Amazon that that wasn't working. I wanna see if that actually works. Okay, so I gotta say, this seems to be working pretty well. I have it toggled because I'm only upstairs normally in the evening. So I have my evening temperature set up there and at night and then during the day, I'm usually downstairs, so I have these ones set up for preferred temperatures during the day. 
but I had no problem setting these up with different schedules and different temperatures. Everything seems to work great. I think it's a beautiful device. It's about a third the price of everything out there in the market. I'm able to manually control and override. I'm able to set up schedules. I can do away, home and sleep modes. I can even set Alexa up to automatically control it based on eco environmental friendly things. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. You'll get updated every time I put out a new video. I'm Robert. This is the Locksmith Recommended product. I'll put a link to it down below. You're watching Locksmith Recommended.